Um, I've even tried uh, with limited success at taking a receiver, an FM receiver for uh, channel 3, um, something that'll tune 61.25 megahertz, and after it's been down converted, you know, with your PC down converter, uh, trying to detect the audio there, and it works, but the limiting factor there is the stability of the down converter, which Keep in mind, uh, the local oscillator that's running in your down converter is a free-running oscillator. It's not a crystal oscillator, so it's not super stable. Uh, stable enough for video. Stable enough to watch video and and uh, you know listen to subcarrier audio. But when you're trying to deal with a, a real narrow band audio signal, um, you know just five or so KCs wide, you've got to have a super stable local oscillator. And, uh, and so that's a problem when you go to try to tune uh, 61.25, which is channel 3, uh, with an FM receiver. Um, the FM receiver might be plenty stable, but keep in mind the down converter that's getting you from 439.250 down to 61.25 is, is not stable, is not super stable, so your signal drifts around a lot. So it's, it's pretty tough to do it that way. But if you had a scanner that would cover 439.250, you'd be able to hear the on-carrier audio there. Um, well, this is real neat that you're able to see uh, real good detail. I could give you another quick tour of the shack if you'd like. Unfortunately, I don't have a very long uh, cord on this microphone that's on this rig here. <clears throat> and my cordless mic that I use is, uh, is hooked into the other transmitter. I really can't, I don't know, it's not even the same connector. I never, I never intended for it to be used on this uh, transmitter because this is the one I usually use for DX stuff and the other one uh, I use for around town.